Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. And what do we got in store? Uh, this is a market that has defined gravity. The fact that the markets we were, were essentially, especially the NASDAQ, comfortably higher today. Uh, after the attacks in Belgium last night, just shows how resilient this market is. Um, I'm going to talk more about why in the premium video, but it's just like the main thing here is we don't want to fight it. Okay. So on the long side, I do like Facebook here on a daily chart. It doesn't look like much on a weekly chart. We do have early warning with a weekly squeeze. Uh, this is one that I went out and bought some options 38 days out with the idea here that price as price increases. You'll note that if we look at the month here, you can see that the implied volatility jumps up here. Well, guess what? That's when they release earnings, which is that week. So by buying some options here on a weekly squeeze, well, maybe we just get a little bit of target. But if we continue to grind higher and the implied volatility continues to expand, that's a good thing. And I'm also doing the same thing here on PayPal. So PayPal here, you got a weekly kind of a mover here. We're trying to take out those highs. We got earnings coming up. And this is one where, at the same time, if we can get that increase in price and the increase in implied volatility, um, you can see here I got some uh, for the April, uh, this for a normal trade. The next week, you got a little bit of kicker for IV and looking to see if this thing continued to climb in implied volatility and price, which is the perfect world. So I do like those two quite a bit. In terms of right now, those are two of my... Um, uh, I, I would say the cleaner trades only because there's a lot of mess out there. So if we look at like say the yen, you know, yen's up, yen's down. Is it flight to safety? Is the carry trade on or off? Nobody really knows, right? And if we're looking at gold, same thing. Okay, are we flying to safety? Are we done? What's going on here? What about bonds? Oh gosh, you know, should we? So, so there's a lot of that going on in the market right now, but Facebook doesn't care about that. PayPal doesn't care about that, and that's the kind of stuff I just want to make this easy. I, do you want to be right, you know, in terms of how the markets should be going, or do you want to make money? And at this point, I'm just kind of like, you know what, I'm cool with the let's just make money and not worry about all this stuff. We're going to watch it. We're going to look at it for correlated clues, but in the meantime, we're going to filter through all of that and find the setups that make the most sense. Okay, a topic that has come up quite a bit recently, especially we've got some newer folks that have been joining us, is, all right, what do I do when trades go wrong? How can I defend that trade? How do I make adjustments? So we're going to do a free webinar Wednesday. That's uh, Wednesday the 23rd from 7 to 8 o'clock Central Time, simpleroptions.com forward slash adjust. And this is going to be from Bruce. And what he's going to be talking about here uh, it's very simple, very straightforward. How to salvage a trade that's already blown up in your face. I love that one. Okay, I learned a lot when he first showed me that. How to identify if a trade is savable or if it is just time to close it out. Methods to retrain your brain with defense in mind. How to defend long options, debit spreads, credit spreads, diagonals, butterflies, calendars, and iron condors. Okay, if you are an options trader and you do not understand how to make adjustments or defend a trade that's losing and potentially turn it into a winner, uh, I would say that this is a must-attend free webinar, okay? Uh, SimpleOptions.com forward slash adjust. And if we scroll up here, you can see here, that's where you enter in your name, your email address. We'll send you the information, and you'll be good to go. All right, you guys have a great night, and we'll see you at the next update.